Morning at NTV, we are live from Kampala Serena Conference Centre. I'm Andrew Chamagero, Muntuawensi. Now in seven days, Ugandans will be headed to the polls uh, to elect their president and a member of parliament, uh, but have candidates in the prevailing circumstances have candidates done enough to assure themselves of victory. Now, to speak to us about this and more, we have a Mr. Rogers Mulindwa, the communications manager or officer at the NRM Secretariat, and we have John Ken Luchamazi, the man. He's a former Rwaga South Member of Parliament who wants his seat back. Gentlemen, good morning. And the president of the, and the, president of the <laughs> CP Party, the Conservative Party. Yes. Good to see you, Honorable. It has been long to see you. Yes. How is <laughs> CP holding up? We are doing our best. We are participants in this tournament, political okay. tournament. Okay. We have uh, candidacy for councillorship, mm -hmm. chairmanship, mm -hmm. MPs. You didn't bring a we, we didn't bring candidate. a presidential candidate. Why? Circumstantially, you don't simply bump into competition. You mm. have to weigh the scales mm. of participation, <laughs> <laughs> and then you get so it. that you don't flop. Mm. Well, let, 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 let's look at this. Have you done enough to recapture your electorates to vote you back into the parliament? And Honorable, why are you coming back? You believe in democracy, that people can actually vote? A member of parliament is not the equivalent of a president. Mm. A member of parliament is not an administrator. He's a discussant. Okay. He's a delegate. He's a representative. So he can come as many times as so he should as be able wishes. to distinguish between the presidency mm. and the membership to parliament. So you're coming back. If you read the works of uh, Edmund Buck, yes. he prescribed a member of parliament as a representative, not a delegate. Mm -hmm. So you must have the capacity to debate issues mm. representing your people. Mm. That potentiality cannot be underrated. It goes on and on depending on talent and the capacity mm. measurements so you believe you have the the one who is in not the only that the there are specific reasons why i'm coming back like i'm coming back because in the fifth parliament i managed it to amend the regional tier perception which indeed i remember constitutionally <laughs> i remember so i quashed the notion of tier mm. to be replaced by a regional government, mm -hmm. which means if we get competent members of parliament with a bias on federalism, mm. it will be very easy for us to overturn the events and get a full-blown federation in okay. for Uganda. Wow. Very that interesting. Is kind of demand, of course. That is one of them. The others will get yeah. into them. Yeah. Mr. Malindra, good to have you here again. Mm. I, I understand Thank time. You, by the way, but the one thing, I left one very important point. Uh, oh. Very, okay. very important. Very important. Only one. I'm coming oh. back to redeem Rubaga South. What do you mean so to redeem? So that it can regain its esteem. At one time, it was one of the greatest constituencies in Uganda. What happened along the way? For the last five years or so, the representative has been almost dead, dormant, non-performing. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that a little later. <laughs> Mr. Malindro, good to have you back <laughs> with your own colleague on set this Saturday morning. Yeah, uh, um, thank you very much. And... Uh, Really, it has been a while without seeing him. <laughs> <I was telling. laughs> the man. The man. Yes. Uh, uh, somehow we we talk. He's one of those mm. uh, politicians in opposition. Mm. Besides the comedy part of him. But he's liberal-minded. Uh, he's one man that interacts well with the others. We mm. can only defer. Oh, yes. The principle. Mm. Uh, has the NRM done enough to, to assure the President Museveni victory come 14th Jan? Yeah, I think we have. Uh, if I'm to give an example from the sports where I spend some of my time, mm. we are going into the finals on 14th oh, yes. with already some points in our hands where no oh. uh, competitor turned up, turned up for the matches. In the 13 constituencies, we had no games played because it we were not opposed. Okay. So that is a sign that we are going into this uh, final when we are very much prepared. We are also mm -hmm. going into the finals. You remember during our school days, mm -hmm. we could have inter-house competitions. Oh, yes. And on the final day when we invite parents, the best then, class then you playing. have uh, your house mm -hmm. competing uh, team A against team B. Mm -hmm. We have 79 constituencies where we are competing against ourselves. The opposition combined, including Kenny Ruchams, CP, and the others, <laughs> they don't have candles yet. <laughs> So, uh, uh, actually, when you look at the build-up, mm. uh, the build-up uh, points at victory, mm -hmm. we already have uh, uh, no, 18,411 
elective positions unopposed for NRM mm -hmm. at different levels, including uh, the lower levels. So, so there, there is no doubt uh, this is just a done deal. The NRM is just going to win this. can be there, but mm -hmm. I'm telling you, there is nobody that can convince this country mm -hmm. that you are a popular party, mm -hmm. all combined against NRM, when you can't even find a single candidate to contest in 13 constituencies. Then, then you are not strong so enough. So that means the opposition, you're, from your perspective, they are is not concentrated good enough? concentrated in a few areas. You'll find them in the Mukono municipality. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll find them uh, maybe in some parts of Wachiso. Mm -hmm. And uh, you may think, and because even some of our journalists have not been uh, fair enough, they concentrate their cameras there. Mm. I would like to contest uh, and, uh, No, 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 I, I, I gave you, you know, I listen. <laughs> I listen. Yes, he's going but, to come uh, back to you. Uh, just as I have explained... Mm. If you are a popular party, mm -hmm. if you are a popular opposition, mm. at least where NRM failed, I mean, UPS failed to have a candidate against NRM. Maybe mm -hmm. any UP would have had one, DP would have had one. But if all of them combined could not find a candidate, then uh, they still have you a feel, You feel the reason? Uh, John, uh, can you want to respond but to that? But the circumstances you're talking about on the side of the opposition are not level. catastrophic. Mm. Since you almost came to power, later on made sure that parties came back to 2005, Five. Mm. you have deliberately made the opposition dominant. We have been intentionally. fighting to intentionally. We have mm. been fighting to sign a nail to make sure that you comply with the contents of the Constitution, namely mm. Article 20, Article 29 of the mm. Constitution, which guarantees the existence of freedom of assembly, mm -hmm. freedom of speech, Mm -hmm. Freedom of association, freedom of political thought, with reference uh, to the uh, case of... No, 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 I think on that... Just, one, just, just one moment, Honorable, we are dealing with unprecedented times. We are having COVID-19 in play. We are having the grounds where we are, we, are, we are focusing more on health than rallying people to actually vote whatever is going to be voted for. In that kind of work, will you still attribute that to the NRM? No, the NRM bring yes, the COVID that? yes, I do, because there must be some openness when we are talking about the constitutionality mm. elections. Mm. When you talk about general elections, you, you know, you must address the contestation aspect, mm -hmm. participation. Mm -hmm. You must address the, 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 the mode you are going to use when you are campaigning. For mm -hmm. example, when you talk about a general election, you must talk about the rules of the game. They were shared. The rules of the game necessitate mm. compliance with Article 1 of the Constitution, mm. which says power belongs to the people. Mm -hmm. Article 1, Clause 4 says the people who own power should be seen to be free to select, choose leaders of their choice in, you a free, it? in a free, fair atmosphere. Mm. Honorable, are you putting that in the context of COVID-19? Yes, as well? I am. Oh, thank yes, you. I am. So uh, you feel uh, the opposition has been ganged at the different media platforms to explore the freedom of speech? Ex exactly, because the president of Uganda mm. submitted when uh, COVID dawned mm. that there was no need to call for a state of emergency. Mm -hmm. We accepted. We said, well, okay, we will not nag you since you are in power and you have the majority in parliament. <laughs> but to our surprise... Circumstances ended up with the SOPs. Mm. Under the Constitution of Uganda, mm. Mr. Molindwa, mm. for your information, under the Constitution of Uganda, the SOPs do not have the command of law. Mm. With reference to Article 28, Clause 12, mm. which states that before you identify a suspect with a criminality, there must be justification that there is a law in existence and the mm. punishment is articulated. So, so when times, we talk about SOPs, <coughs> SOPs are mere rules. Mm. They don't the amount to what Article 28, Clause 12 mm. talks about constitutionally. Mr. Malindwa, why has the NRM not given a free and fair ground for the other parties to flourish? I think uh, that, that's the wrong perception. Mm. And uh, NRM has not rendered other parties dominant. Honorable mm -hmm. Kennedy Chams can bear witness that but he has even when it. he was thrown out of parliament, mm -hmm. the daughter came. Mm -hmm. The challenge has only been that some of these political parties are two of the family parties, mm -hmm. and the conservative party is one of them. They, they are not spread out in the other parts of the Around party. Around the country. I would tell you that conservative party, if, uh, without due respect, if Kennedy Chams goes, mm -hmm. the party will go. 
Because <laughs> if it's not him, it's his daughter. Isn't it the same with so the, with the that, 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 that means... Mr. No, no, because I, I, I listen. Mr. Mr. Let, let, let him go on. Carry on, Mr. So, so that weakness mm. is what is making the opposition very weak. So you feel the, the now, opposition is inclined on one person? The strategy they person? have, even the strategy they mm. have, I have always argued here, and I say, if this opposition really think M7 is doing things wrongly, mm. what is the alternative? Nobody, even when we have uh, a lead of opposition in mm. parliament, mm. when we have a shadow cabinet, if they think our minister of education is not doing well, if they think our minister of agriculture is not doing well, mm. what is that uh, alternative they can give this country? Apart from saying M7 must go. And I think this is where they are losing it. John Ken. They are not, they're they're losing, not it. losing it. The issue is Museven must go. But Museven is not going. I think because Mr. Ugandans would wish to vote mm. issues. And this is where intelligent people like Honorable Ken Luchams will mm. come in to help the others. But he's Honorable also accepting to be used John Ken. Do we have the critical mass in the opposition yes, that can be part of the opposition? Let me respond. Mm. I think Mr. Murindwa is going astray. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. That is his okay, opinion. Me back that, the <laughs> argument I'm putting across mm. is that Museven and the government of mm. Uganda and in RM mm. are hiding under the COVID scenario to bulldoze and confuse everybody. I will give an example. Mm -hmm. I'm a lawyer. Mm. Recently, there was a scaffold in Luuka, Luuka, yes, in Busoga, mm. and uh, Bob in Honorable mm. was arrested Indeed. on charges of uh, by the SOPs. SOPs. Mm. When he was taken to Iganga, Chief Magistrate. Court. But yes. The charge sheet was never reading his office. Office, yes. It was reading an, a colonial law uh, referred to as section 171, which says if Mr. Molindwa mm. acts in a way which would invite the contamination of society with a contagious disease, mm. he is irresponsible, criminally. Mm. And in accordance with that, that yes, perception sir. which was on the charge sheet mm. directly contradicts the contents of Article 28, Clause That's 12. It. Yeah. Mm. Mr. Mulindo. You are charging I, I, people I, I, on non existing laws. Uh -huh. And uh, under Article 28 <coughs> of the Constitution, Clause 7, mm -hmm. you cannot arrest a person on a criminal charge if, that pa if you have no evidence that that person has committed. An offense which is registered as a law in the law books. Yes, you this see, is and that is a um, very giant statement I'm making, mm. which cannot be fought over by the because it's by law. Yeah, mm. they are hiding under under the scope of COVID, COVID to bulldoze everybody, <laughs> to confuse everybody, and to dominate society. <laughs> Even the success you are proud of, <clears throat> you should not be proud of it that you went unopposed. Mm. It is because you are hiding under the scope of. Uh, uh, COVID to confuse everything. Mr. Melindra, uh, that, that, that's it. Uh, that's uh, it. Uh, uh, no, but he, we okay. are not going to have battles back and forth. Yeah, uh, but you know, uh, Honorable Ken Richards has been out of saturation for some time. Some of these five years may need some help. Mm. Okay? Uh, <laughs> By saturation, yeah, you mean yeah. not <laughs> Because, mm. you see, I'm a Christian. Mm. But even, let me assume if my Bible didn't have one of the commandments saying don't kill. I would still not have killed people. Because it's human. Yeah. Yes. So now when we look at COVID-19, whether it is in the Constitution, or mm. it's not there, the guidelines being given by electoral commission and the government, mm. but since they touch the lives of people, mm -hmm. we just need to respect them. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because it kills. Honorable mm. Kelly Richams is lucky. He has not buried a friend or a relative. Chivaji was his friend. I saw uh -huh. his zoology. But for us as a government, mm. we have lost many people. I have also lost. And you. we are the advocates of this telling people, please, COVID-19 kills. Mm. If the if majority of people who have died were in the opposition, mm -hmm. the allegations from this side would have been different. Mr. Melinda, do you now, agree that sometimes there has been um, uniquely plexed approaches or um, how sh selective approaches from the security forces to just um that are targeting opposition alone vis-a-vis -vis what is being done in the nrm on some instances um, uh one uh we've always come out clearly mm. on matters of uh, excessive power mm. 
uh, by some of the security forces. Mm. Uh, and I've personally condemned that. Even the Secretary General of the party, mm. right, Honorable Justin Kasoro Mumba, has come out of the same. Mm. But we also have to have it in mind that we must be law abiding and we must not, uh, uh, you know, there is that confrontation with mm. the security that some people do. Mm. These are things we must jointly condemn. As a me, country? Yes, as a country. And me, I'm interested in seeing everybody given a leveled ground. Mm. Because you know these elections, on 14th we shall cast the election, the, the, our votes, and then we go. And life will so, proceed. So, uh, 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 as security agencies, they must treat all of us equally. The challenge where the public gets confused, mm -hmm. you know when you are vying for a presidential uh, seat, mm. you are far different from somebody who wants to be a representative in the parliament, or somebody who wants to be a chairman of the three. Mm. For you, are expected to be more <coughs> exemplary. And this is where President Yorim Seven has scored higher. There is no single video you'll find in this country uh. where the president is in that massive thing uh, and it's because of the votes. Oh. Our other cadres, uh -huh. including some flag bearers for parliament, mm. have betrayed us. Okay? You've not seen the president rallying people? No. In a big rally? No, no. During COVID-19? Yes. I challenge you to play the video oh, here. Oh, my. I challenge The you. president just addressed people here yesterday when he was in, uh, I think he was in... Uh, Mitiana. In Mitiana. Look what, look what... People are very oh, no, 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 So many. Uh, so I, you, you if, I, if I can get this clip uh, you yesterday... You where he stood? Where? You know, the SOPs are well observed. But the SOPs... But, even before you get Mr. there... Mr. Morindwa, he should not before. address the rally, even those who had be, come, if he's following and the and SOPs. And he told them, because of this, we are unable to talk to you. Look at that. Not, that. That was no, yesterday, no, Mr. Morindwa. Show me the president there. No, 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 he's going to but talk to them. Show me the president. Because he's there, he's actually coming. Look at the distance. Look at this distance. Come on, Mr. Morindwa. Now, these people you see here, they contested for COVID-19. Look at look at. But Mr. Where is, is but where is he? Where is the no, president? No, he is, is the, the cause president? of that. Okay. No, 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 Can no, no, just no, have no. Order? These are two different Mr. things. Malindo. No, 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 no. Let me put this right. Mm. You see? He's addressing them. But you see where he's next standing. To one look at this. Can we play the Chagulani videos and you see? No, no, Chagulani look, look himself at, within the people. Look at the population. These are two different things. Let me bring this to context, Mr. Molindwa. Your candidate is following the SOPs according to you. But as a leader... Having seen that they're actually crowded, he should have chosen not to address exactly. them. Exactly. And no. left. What? As someone who is following the SOPs, I think the what? fact that he's addressing them, even when they're not, you know, monitoring the SOPs of social distancing, some of them even had their masks under their chin. Yes, you can have the video of Bobby Wine as well, and it plays, and he has been addressing the, the others actually in big rallies. No, when he's mingled up with people. You see... Some uh, of these, I don't uh, know what Mr. Mulindo is talking you. about. Some Somebody of these cameras can also be biased. <laughs> 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 oh, as you can even see, it was in Seven's meeting, but they are showing Chagulani's portraits on the on the polls. This we know what, what you are doing Mr. here. Mulindo. This we know. You have seen this. Yeah. No, 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 no. You have seen this. <laughs> so, the one so, of but one if you were yesterday. honest, ask his who was mm. on the ground. Yes. And, uh, and it's the one you are a reporter. We will show you the distance. You know, the SOPs. Who to show the distance between the president and the crowd. Then the context. And the period of time he took there. When he said, I'm sorry, we cannot do this and this and this. This is Bobby Wine yesterday when he was in Namisindwa. But now, mm. uh, I wanted to mention one thing. Mm. That you see, for Honorable Richams to say we are taking advantage of COVID-19, we are the most affected. But the even the electoral commission, when mm. they came out to... To stop us from going to the 11 districts, mm. it was really very unfair. Your candidate said that the Electoral Commission is conniving with the opposition Actually, to deny you I don't want to echo his statement, mm. but the Electoral Commission seemed to be working in favor of the opposition. Come on. Look here. Mm -hmm. We had not been to Kampala. We had not been to, to Uikwe, to mm. Mukono, to Kayunga, to where. But these people, because mm. for them it's 10 against 1. <laughs> even if Conor, if, even if uh, NUP oh, yeah. has not been to Wikwe, yes, if this has been there, and their target is to get them seven out of office, for, so for them they have covered the whole country. They are just make, making second rounds. So you believe the opposition now, is in this electoral commission comes in to mm. say we should all stop. Mm. We are st you are stopping NRM when for us our candidate is meeting tested people. They test for COVID nineteen before they come for your so rallies. They come for the meetings. Why are you putting us in the same category of unserious Ugandans that are just 
moving without testing people. Wow. That was very unfair. And that electoral commission, mm. I can say it here, mm. they are working in their favor. <laughs> John Kelly yeah. Charles, yeah. I, I don't to know that. what Mr. Marindo this time round mm. is talking about. Mm. It disappoints me. Mm -hmm. Don't get disappointed. On a number of occasions, he mm. talks impressively. Don't get but disappointed. We always have honest conversations. <laughs> but, but when he's with mm. John Ken, we the man. For example, Mr. Mm. Molindo, mm. why do you make the public believe mm -hmm. that uh, you can only you, you will contract uh, the COVID disease only when you have attended the political rally? Mm -hmm. There are many alternative gatherings where COVID is at large in terms of uh, af assembly. If, and assembly. Mm. For example, the buses where people spend nine hours. The churches. The churches. Mm. The Owino market. Yes. The Kikubo market. You give an impression that it is only political gatherings that will cause that defect, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate. Mm. As if that was not enough, you have also gone to the extent of influencing Mr. Biabakama, whom you call our ally, <laughs> mm. to make a confusion and to, to, co to, to bring uh, an impression mm. that <coughs> the, the rules he gave, the statement he made, for example, they, in your favor. That they, they are not in our favor. They are. For example, <laughs> mm. He said, once you have voted, mm. you go away. Where does he get that law? It is not even uh, among the rules. Because according to the Parliamentary Elections mm. Act, mm. it is stated that after voting, if you want to stay around, you must give a dis create a distance. Oh, yes. In the distance. designated area. Yeah, designated mm. area. Mm. But there is no order that you must quit the place. <coughs> Why? Mm -hmm. Why, should you, Why shouldn't I wait to see or to hear the outcome of the game i have played he actually says you come back later and you see when they're counting but you after you vote you go back home yes. not to crowd yes. under the sops yes that is wrong <laughs> if the <laughs> government of uganda did not declare a state of emergency mm. then they must know that there are some minimum activities which must be carried out in the course of an election irregardless yes because okay. For example, the ban, although the case is in court under the road mayor, mm. but talking constitutionally, because you can talk about oh, the yes. constitution even if the case Anytime. is to be judged mm. tomorrow. Uh, quoting, uh, quoting the constitution, namely Article 61, mm. Article 61 orders the electoral commission to call out elections which amount to a free and a fair mm. credibility. Mm -hmm. No, I really find it difficult to believe that after the ruling of the Constitutional Court, mm -hmm. in which the state lost, Mwanga Kivumbi versus mm. the state, mm. the, 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 the court ruled out the contents of <coughs> Section 32. That state? Wh where police mm. uh, at, was at liberty to rule that you know, that meeting is illegal. illegal. Please disperse. Mm. It is no longer reigning under the Police Act. Mm. So that example should bring light to Mr. Mrindwa to the point of understanding that when, when you cut out an election, mm. there are certain things you must not endeavor to undo. Now that brings me to the question, how do we ensure that we have free and fair elections, but when they are peaceful? Mr. Malindo, mm. given mm. that you're the party in charge and uh, your candidate, according to you, has followed the SOP, he says, Said, and not only that, your candidate, Farrari, you, Farrari, you Farrari. say he has um, a much more um, magnitude over the other candidates. How do we ensure that we have free and fair elections that are peaceful? Um, <coughs> before I get to that, I want to remind our viewers mm. that this is a new normal. There are things that could have been done differently mm -hmm. in 2016, 2011, and the others. This program usually will sit to the other side. Oh, yes. But because of COVID-19 and the spaces we, we have want, to find we space. have shifted to this side. Yes. Colonel Ken Richam says, mm. if barrier is to be at two and it's raining, eh, you mm. don't need to stop the barrier and pro maybe put it at a, a few minutes past two. You go and barrier when it's raining. There are things where we need to adjust. No, if there is COVID-19, we must mm. do things differently. Mm. There are polling stations that have over 1,000 voters. Yep. And you want these people to converge, you know, to, to, to be in one place from 7 in the morning when voting starts mm -hmm. to 4 p.m. when voting ends. Mm. For another two hours, 
eh, mm -hmm. for the counting, the tallying, signing of the declaration forms. Yep. And those are 12 hours when you are keeping people together and you are telling us you want to be a leader. Are you being mindful of their health? Mm -hmm. You know, these are things that require common sense. You don't need to have done law to understand this. It's common sense. You don't need to have done journalism to understand this. <laughs> <laughs> so, me, uh, why I differ with some of these brothers of ours mm. is when they think it is about votes and votes and, no, uh, uh, and only votes against human life. That's back different. To, now, back to I my go question. To question. Free and fair elections and peaceful. Free and fair elections. Mm. But uh, peaceful I, as well. I would tell you, mm. as a NRM, we are advocates of peace. Mm -hmm. The NUP, they have already promised to cause chaos. As I talk oh, now... Oh, you have this on record? Yeah. Yeah, they have said it. No, I have not heard that. They have said it. And as I talk now, I have seen information mm. that Honor Chagulani's family is already on flight to Texas. Okay? <laughs> yes, that, uh, that is uh, also for children. Do, do, do you have, have a freedom of this movement? This is what I have seen. I have seen. Yes, the, the yes there is evidence. It's all over social media. Yeah, but there is that, freedom of movement. That, that the family is already on board to if, Texas. If, and uh, they are being accompanied by Jolly Asimwe, mm. the, the sibling of uh, Bobby's wife and yes. the younger brother. Mm. Why? If he loves his children, mm. he should also know we love ours. Okay? Okay. If you want to strip people naked mm. on the way, you want to love them of their money because you are in the struggle. Mm. Why do you take your family away? Mr. Malini. Now, for us we are saying, mm. one, uh, to NRM supporters on voting day, uh -huh. come with your masks. Let's begin with SOPs. Mm. Wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Keep distance. Mm -hmm. Don't handshake. Don't give a hug. Mm. Even when you are celebrating victory, please be mindful of SOPs. Two, <laughs> as members of the party on that <laughs> voting <laughs> day, mm. after casting your vote, mm. go. Because we have our agents there. And if anything, we have 11 presidential candidates. Mm. And NRM will only have two Eh? Of the, 22. the 20 are opposition at the mm. polling station. Mm. But don't mind. Okay? Mm -hmm. The 20 opposition uh, you have agents, agents are there. Mm. Their constituencies, like where Kenny Charms comes, mm. they are 14 mm. MPs. Right. So those are 28. Of the 28 at that, those polling stations, we shall only be having two. So the 26 are opposition. Mm -hmm. So 26 plus the other one for the, 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 the 20, mm. you have 40 something against the four. But we are still saying, let us not crowd the place. Our agents that are there will handle. Mm. The electoral commission will handle. Ken, how do we have free and fair elections? I think Mr. Marinwa continues to get confused. About the same issue. You should be proud <clears throat> of the rule of law aspect. Mm. If you do not declare a state of emergency, mm -hmm. you must be mindful of the fact that we are all guided by the Presidential and mm. Parliamentary Elections Acts. Mm -hmm. According to those two fundamental laws, mm. there is no law which encourages anybody to abandon the voting the polling station. Polling station. And you know more. S eh? and, uh, the situation is different, Honorable Charles. Mm. That, uh, I'm it's saying that is out of law. Mm. That is out of law. And you are, law you are supposed to be law abiding. For mm -hmm. example, Mr. Mulingo, let me remind you that the President of Uganda since the declaration of the electoral commission that certain places are forbidden, eh? mm. he has been touring Kampala mm. at large and many other places which are not necessarily mm. uh, free for, for him to tour, simply because he's hiding under programs they have already earmarked mm. so that they, nobody will note that they have reached the law. Mm. Above all, mm. Mr. Marindua, let me remind you that the electoral commission on the accord of article 61 mm. sub article 1a mm, assembled with the the minister of health mm -hmm. and all resolved that there must be some minimum participation of the population mm. to justify the existence of a general election mm -hmm. they started by giving us uh, an opportunity to address 70 people 
Later on, they said would 200. address 200. Mm. You cannot all over the night just say, recycle, re, re, I mean, change that statement mm. and talk otherwise because this play of the electoral commission game mm. is ours as Ugandans. You cannot suppress us and keep, keep quiet. That is why many a time people are now talking about plan B. Mm. Plan B, Mr. Murindwa should not be scared <laughs> about Plan B. Mm. Plan B, in a nutshell, means insisting on defending your rights. On the constitutional Persisting. Mm. Eh, mm. in the way Mahatma Gandhi mm. did so during the struggle for <laughs> India's independence. Just, there, just, just, just before you <laughs> respond to that, we're going to have a break. But maybe just to respond to what you earlier alluded to, uh, Mr. Malindwa, you say the family of Bobby Wine is already on flight to go to wherever they go. I have said it so Just to bring you to speed. Museven, his family was in Sweden when the struggle was actually happening. We'll take a break for now. This is Morning at NTV. Uh, this conversation is still ongoing. This is my no, show, I, Mr. Melindrum, <laughs> coming back. we take a break and we'll be back. It's Morning at NTV. The hashtag on Twitter and Facebook and I'll pick your questions. TV. Morning at NTV. We are live from Kampala Srena Conference Center. I'm Andrew Chamagero, Moon to ONC. And this conversation is quite... You know, getting a lot of steam online here. A couple of you have sent in um, uh, some little tweets. I will read a couple of them. Kwasim MK, he says that fellow Ugandans, let's vote for principle. I'm glad that John Kennelly Chams is there. Though you and I may vote individually, let us cherish the sweetest reflection that mine and your vote is not lost. Uh, vote generational leaders. Uh, he goes on and on. Then Julius Awelo says, I want to remind Mr. Malindwa than the NRM that this struggle is not for Chagulan and his family. It's Ugandans who are fighting for their right. His family has a right to uh, to pull off the or off the fight as long as the family can be probable point of destruction of destruction. All we need is the candidate and the rest of the oppressed Ugandans. And a great thanks to the other generals, people seniors who are watching the show this morning the struggle the struggle may not be for chagulani mm. but <clears throat> for ugandans i think you need to understand one thing and that is if uh, there are messages coming in mm. that if we don't win because they are already clear evidence mm. that the opposition is going to lose the presidential elections. Why do you say How, that? Where do you base that the, from? The president, uh, Museven, is already in a big lead. What you do you mean? Mr. Malindra, the problem. No, no, wait, mm. wait. Let me mm. tell you. The miscalculation. Mm. And now, somebody is preparing mm. for likely chaos, maybe. Is it wrong? I'm saying, mm. if you think it's mm. going to be peaceful, mm. And you are, uh, you are for peace. Mm -hmm. huh? Because yes. I have seen even the journalists are now saying yes. peace. I, I choose saying peace. peace. Yes, I, I choose peace. Mm. For you are flying your family out. And you are mobilizing other people's children. Did Museven mobilize uh, the, the, the youth of that time when his family was Wait, in Sweden? But his son is already in the army. No, he is. Struggle. If it is then, a, if you are talking of Museven, he struggled. The, the family then, is already in the struggle. We're talking about then because now, even now, this one is flying out his family but now. Remember, and his family by was the way, the, the two are different. Mm. This is uh, where we are going to through the ballot. Of course. The other one was different. The struggles are different. Generations yeah, the have other changed. One was different. Mm. And first of all, uh, actually, that would require another day for me to explain <laughs> because that. You, because but I'm it's saying, the same, Mr. Molina. Now, a Ugandan, but how do you risk you telling mm. your kid mm. to go on the road and demonstrate? Can mm -hmm. I give you information? When the person you are supporting himself mm -hmm. is, okay, mm. is flying his family out. To the same, it's the same, I'll tell you. Funny. That, that, the same just, thing uh, happened. His family was true, out. He if, mobilized other if, people to hold guns if, and fight for the, li true, the liberation. That's very, he talks very, about. very unfortunate. But mm. all in all, my appeal would go to the public. Mm. That the way Chagulani loves Nakai, mm. uh, the, the Shadrach, mm -hmm. the Shalom, mm. uh, this is the same way you love your children. How, you don't have the yeah. money to take them to America, mm. but keep them safe. I would like to contest what Please. Mr. Marindwa is talking Please. about. Because your family is mm. here. You can you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> because Mr. Marindwa... No, we are not flying Mr. out. Mr. Marindwa, Mr. Marindwa, Mr. Marindwa, <laughs> allow him to flourish. <laughs> Mr. Marindwa, Mr. Marindwa, don't mm. talk with the confusion. Mm. Please. Which confusion? First of all, it is a foregone conclusion. Mm -hmm. I could even scientifically justify it. Mm. Mm. And legally do so. Challenge it. <laughs> Challenge it. <laughs> <laughs> that this is not 
an erection in mm -hmm. what the word erection would imply by what is this? the standards is of Oxford English Dictionary. Mm. This is a game of someone who's making okay. to give um, the rest of the population internationally that we are voting. Otherwise, we are not at attending to an erection. What oh. are we attending to? To a game or a tournament of <laughs> so some you are, confused you people you who want to give team? others an impression mm. that they carried out an, an, an erection mm. when it is a sham erection. And and there are already so many signals to mm. indicate that this is not supposed to be referred to as an erection mm -hmm. because it does not match with the contents of an erection mm. in constitutional terms. Okay. Uh, anyway, that, now, uh, that's uh, an opinion gentlemen, from someone who has done law. G -g gentlemen, which I don't think we, we, we are going to rest <laughs> that that because of vote. time. Allow me to it, jump it on something else. Round. Electoral Commission yesterday barred cameras in all polling stations and equally say that even the media were not allowed to, you know, go in this designated area. On the same front, it said no party is allowed to have parallel tallying centers. The NRM, in the recent past, you came out, you said you have a tallying center. And the Electoral Commission is saying that this shouldn't be happening. Does this go against the very transparency and fair elections? Both of you need opposition and the NRM? Now, one, the cameras, mm. uh, Justice Yabakam was very clear. Mm. Because, you know, these cameras, for some of us who are in the field, we know. Mm. You can zoom and you can even get somebody and you get to know who is sticking mm. from a Benson. Okay. Okay. Mm. So keep the cameras away. Me, I think that was okay. Mm. There are others who would like even to take selfies <coughs> after mm. taking the ballot <coughs> paper. He want to take, they are saying, don't do that. Mm. But I, I think they are not stopping us as journalists to do our to work. To carry our work, yes. Because the declaration of the results and the others will be done. That's okay. Now, mm. when I come to the other, to the to telling center, the, the telling center mm. uh, accessing information is not bad. As but a declaring party. results okay. is the challenge. Because if I'm seated here mm. in NTV mm. on the voting day and I start saying, from Rubaga South, uh, Rubaga South, <laughs> Honorable Kenny Charms at polling station, a three votes, mm -hmm. NRM candidate 1,222, <laughs> mm. Katolu Wama 17. Mm. That is bad unless you have authentic you have the real results from the electoral commission. Mm. Now, we can sit in the secretariat at the party. And you're telling and what is coming in. We say, let us try to hear from our agents. How are we performing? But mm. we don't de announce the results. Okay. And for us... So th this is just... A um, yeah, for uh, those who want to announce data. results, mm. it's different. But if I'm just making my small additions to mm. know how I stand. You know, when I was Ken Richards the other time, mm. I don't remember, there was a day he came out and confessed he had lost an election. Okay, mm. before yeah, even the electoral commission did, mm. he, I remember he accompanied it with some statements, blah mm. blah, to beef it up. Yes, but I think he had sat down with the agents and said, Here, I think people have said this. But I remember the <coughs> other time, then he came back as a, an MP. Mm. So, that, I don't think that there is a problem, John but Jones. don't declare results mm. under the cyber law mm. internationally. You, if you go by its social media freedom, mm. uh, an institution or an individual should be free to manage a tally center mm. if he or she can justify the contents of the releases. Okay. For example, I get worried when I hear mm. the statement you have just read now mm. that Mr. Biabakama, mm. among mm. other things, mm. said you are not supposed to carry a camera yes. at the, the, at, at at the, the polling, polling station. Yes. That <clears throat> is a very dangerous precedent. How, de how dangerous because is that? a mm. person who would have the freedom to manage an individual tariff center mm. would require information to justify what he has released. There is a freedom for him or her mm. to release information as long as there is just justification. Mm -hmm. And one of the avenues through which that evidence can come is camera. by the use of a camera. Mm. So if you bar people from using a camera, you mm. are as dangerous as a person who bans the whole thing. Yes. So you don't feel there will no, be but freedom uh, but, there? But yes. that one, I would like uh, the same example so, I gave yeah, I wanted to justify let, what let I'm let saying. So in that regard, mm. if Noop says it is going to manage a tariff center, why should do Mr. Molindo be so worried when we have also Obi had Honorable Obi Abakama, mm. when we have ha already had uh, Justice Justin Rumumba, mm. 
you know, stating mm. openly that they will manage a tariff center. Mm. The tariff center, if well managed without uh, exaggeration, mm. is supposed to balance the scales of what oh, the uh, electoral what commission is, is that supposed that to do. Mm. There are many <clears throat> cases where the electoral commission goes astray, mm. and that kind of, of existence of that right mm. is meant to balance the equation. Mr. Molindwa? Yeah, one of the terms I think also needs to be reminded mm. that uh, the mandate to manage election results is with the Electoral Commission. Of course. Okay? Mm. That's why I said you can do your telling, you can do what, but mm. you can't declare results. But secondly, mm. as I have said, I gave you, I said for Rubaga, for instance, Rubaga South, mm. you are already out of the 50 agents that are going to be at every polling station. Mm. Because we have 14 MP flag bearers, that's 28 people. Mm. We have 11 presidential <coughs> candidates, that's 22. Mm -hmm. Any other one only has four. And the 46 are opposition. Mm -hmm. What is that you are worried for? It, actually, it should be us getting worried. Okay? But so the results, your results will be safer. Mm -hmm. You have somebody from, uh, from, from, from General Moon to look at the same results. You have somebody from Chagulan. You have somebody from uh, Power. You have somebody from... They are all one side. The big man is decide. The others combine together. Big man with the state machinery. No, with the coffee. <laughs> it's the other side. <laughs> so let's it is ten against one. Let's talk about scared? gentlemen. Let's talk about money now. I understand um, when the election is over. Election finance monitors say it's going to be one of the most expensive election Uganda's ever had. But I'm asking myself, where is this money coming from? We are in the middle of the pandemic. We spent seven months in the lockdown, but there is a lot of commercialization of this election. Where are we getting the money? Where is this money coming from? It is indescribable mm. when you talk about money use in this election. Mm -hmm. In Irubaga South, we are 14 candidates. Okay. About seven candidates have a direct bearing with the state machinery. Seven candidates. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> And one, one, one of the, can the seven <laughs> candidates mm. to the bearing with, uh, with the state mm. has so far spent over three billion shillings in to make Uruguay sure South? that Ruchams goes. <laughs> That's how big yes. it's in your yes, constituency. Yes, in my constituency. I am told that the biggest spender of money on the elections mm. reigns in the Lubaga South constituency. <laughs> Where is the money coming from? I cannot mention that person. But... No? That is the information. Is it I worrying you in any way as, as a uh, contender in the race? Before you ask me the question mm. where the money is coming from, mm. obviously it goes without saying that a person who commands so much money to that dimension must have connectivity with the state. Okay. Obviously. I don't think Mr. Molino has anything to say about uh, that. Why, why not? <laughs> I was just listening to that. Because, uh, because what? definitely mm. money is at large. Very much so. in constituencies, and the first example or first exposition about money spending mm. at large was exhibited in the primaries of NRM. Mm. I was told by some of the people with whom I was in parliament that under the NRM arrangement, mm -hmm. the primaries are a much greater monetary than an ordinary election. What on industrial scale. What would you expect with the popular party? Anyway. You see, at one time, mm. everybody thought you had to be UPC to win an election. So of late, what do they think? NRM, if you were to win. Is it because of the money that because is so the, much in the there? The voters down there believe it's NRM take us forward. But now, the money issue. The money issue now. Mm. I, I just want to give information to Honorable Kenny Richards. Mm -hmm. How do we raise our money? Mm. Because individuals could be having money. If we start challenging sources of income, mm. one would challenge, where is the opposition getting all this money? Okay. If somebody went into parliament like Honorable Chagulain, through a by-election, mm. these two, three years, okay, mm. should we assume he has accumulated all that wealth when you compare it to the expenditures he's making? Mm -hmm. So th these questions are many, but anyway, that's uh, for another day. NRM, we mm. get money through four channels. One. Our sources. One, once you go through to parliament, we tax you monthly through the government chief whip. There is a uh, money you have to bring to our chitavu. The party. Mm. If you're on NRM flag. And we keep that money, we reserve it on account mm. for elections. Mm. Two, during nominations, 
you ha we have what we call nomination fees. And mm. for us, our nomination fees at Parliament is 2 million. Okay. This year alone, we collected last year 4.2 billion from that, for the Parliament alone. Just this with your person and the others. Mm. Number three, you have always seen us fundraising. One time we organized a dinner. The mm. business community in Kampala gave us 16 billion. The business community. You remember? Do yeah. they have a choice? Yes. Yeah, yeah. They, they come and somebody says, I've given you three billion. You have done what? Individually. We don't oh, really popular them. party. No. I'm popular party. <laughs> yeah. Now, number four. This is money from government, which is shared on numerical strength. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, when they lose 10 billion, like this time I think they lose 15 billion, so mm. we take the lion's share. Because, because we have the majority, majority members in parliament. But can we uh, even talk about... to get also 30 million that time. Can we talk about the iPod money? Because uh, some of it does not quantify uh, to, to the figures. Mm -hmm. DP the other day was complaining that it hasn't actually even received money uh, from the government to make it run its, its activities. That money that let they should receive you. from the government. Let me tell you. It hasn't that been money we receive through the electoral commission. Mm. Okay? Mm. Is the money these people are using. Uh, left for DC to buy their vehicles to do and it's just shared among a few individuals in those parties. For us, we exactly. reserve the money now. Now, now, no, 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 before you go to that, now, have you understood the source of income for the party? Because some people think we are using government money. Now, I go to the individuals that have their money, mm -hmm. the seven in the, in the Rubaga South. Now, some people, mm. just like I said. Mm. If you were to go into details to find out where Honorable Chagula is getting the funds mm. to manage this presidential campaign, the way he's doing it, and mm. expenses mm. we are watching from mm. the window, mm. you would really get surprised. Hey, let is me bring you to speed, Mr. Molindra. Um, uh, in the month of uh, November, no, October, he came out, he opened up a fundraising. Mobile numbers were given where people could actually send mobile have money. Have you ever received an yes. update of who gave in what? Let me that was just to cover up. No, that is a fundraising. You, oh, no, you no. fundraise that through that dinner. Was just to cover but whatever it is, things, these individuals, of the these individuals well. that have their money, they could be having some friends. Oh. By the way, the, the biggest spender is talking about in the uh, right <laughs> South. It's not even NRM. But he has a bearing on the NRM. He could be kind enough to tell us that, uh, that the party. No, nobody is saying that he has a bearing. He's using NUP as an XZ. As, as, as a special purpose vehicle. Yes, special purpose <laughs> But just to reply, I what he, can I, like I react? That, can that, I react? No, no, just let me finish up with this one. Mm. That's why I tell people, mm -hmm. you don't need to get excited. And don't be surprised when NRM wins. You know when Abakir mm. Chams is telling you that there are people who are branded NUP, mm. when inside them they are NRM. According to him, that's how we win. That's how we that you win. see, Honorable Ken Chams could be here mm. under CP. Mm. When actually in the, on the ballot paper, he goes to the last number 11 with the coffee and he ticks. Not Ruchamzi. I'm just giving an example. You better we do that statement. <laughs> Ken Ruchamzi. Actually, <coughs> let me attempt to respond to what Mr. Marino was saying. I was responding to mm. your statement. Uh, first of all, I have got some connectivity with the Ms. Honorable Kyagurany mm. by virtue of coming from a party that has sanctioned mm. his presidential stand, yes. the Conservative Party, mm. supported his presidency because we did not commission a presidential candidate. Mm. So I know very well that Ms. Honorable Kyagurany is getting a lot of local support. The mm. response from the Ugandan people is enormous. Mm. Yesterday when he was in Mbari, mm. uh, one person him. gave him a, a brand new yes. pickup. In one day, mm. in appreciation of what he's doing, I would like to tell Mr. Murindwa mm. that the situation as it is now necessitates mm -hmm. action from the people of Uganda who own power. Eh? Because the people of Uganda are now concerned about what is likely to happen in Uganda. Mm. The mess and the chaos you have manifested throughout the avenues of uh, politicking is, mm. is indescribably bad and uh, negative to the opposition. Mm. Uh, for example, <coughs> you have talked about various sources of money. We don't deny you accessibility okay. to that money. Mm. But we know that you are acting in breach of the law. Oh. Under the Parliamentary Elections Act, mm. Section 68 bars you from bribing voters. You have already announced big sums of money to go to, to be them? taken to the people in search yeah. of votes. You cannot simply talk to them and say give Kikofira a, a vote. Mm -hmm. You have to persuade them materially. 
to give the vote to Kikofira. So, Mr. Mudindwa, you no, 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 must yeah. know no, no, that yeah. he, you, I, should I do, you should persuade, should persuade, voters, should uh, persuade uh, your secretary general mm -hmm. to go and reread uh, section 68. Mm -hmm. of, of the, the constitution of the no of the parliamentary elections act that says what that bars the the issue of money they are issuing to mm. the to the voters to the electorates. yes mr mlingo in a minute can you just yeah, respond to um, what you say when i when i was uh, when you gave me an opportunity Section to explain mm. i never talked about how we spend our money mm. I don't know where Honorable Kenny Charms is getting but you spoke about how you fundraise how we get the money yes. mm. okay mm. and this money uh, we have given our flag bearers because it's part have, of your party constitution to yeah, support. Well, we do that. Mm. Uh, no, let me give you information. No, 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 no. We have given Informing them money you on that, to facilitate on that them. particular John, point. Just a minute. Them. Let me conclude. Two, we are doing door-to-door -door campaigns, mm. and we have sent minimal money, like three hundred thousand minimal, to the mobilizers. To every village uh, branch in the mm. village. Okay, because mm. we made our savings. And that man has gone there to help them move door to door. But 300,000 for 48 people for three months. Okay? How much is that? That's okay. too much. Okay, so Honorable Chamuzi shouldn't be worried. It's not about money, it's about mm. the numbers we have in Honorable Honorable Chamuzi. Um, we are talking about to a law abiding person. We are not talking about but the, law allows the, us the, to the, buy the magnitude. Mm. <laughs> the law of the allows money us issued. to buy water. In, in, we are in, talking in the about the act. Any issue of such money mm. is illegal and in breach of section 68. The parliamentary okay, act. Honorable Uchamuzi, you are leader of a small party. You've seen videos of NRM mobilizers showing off NUP and, um, defectors and FDC with new cars and other things. You, as someone who comes from a party uh, that is a small party, does this affect the growth of democracy? That whether someone defects, they're given these goodies and all that, and we're now having people switching parties on principle or on, on just material gains? What is happening in Uganda right now during the campaign time is a mm. catastrophe. President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni is leading a fake move mm. of giving money or buying people out of other parties mm. to join the NRM mm -hmm. on the pretext mm. that he is persuading them to join his party. Mm -hmm which amounts to open bribery of those people before they can join the other parties. This mm. is happening in uh, uh, FDC. It is happening in uh, NUP. In, in, in mm. And I don't think Mr. Marindwa should feel proud of such an activity that is uh, environmentally murderous. Okay. I uh, understand my colleague, uh, just a minute, my colleague, uh, that is Ivan Kamana Walunyolo, is in Entebbe and... Um, Ivan, um, uh, Ivan, I understand that people are complaining about the cameras issue not being at the polling station just to galvanize this conversation. Ivan, if you can hear me, what's the latest on ground? Ivan? Okay, Ivan, what's the latest on ground about the cameras in the polling stations? Okay. I think um, we have had a technical glitch there with regards to that. Let's go back to a conversation. Uh, now, the defections. Mm. <coughs> uh, I, I would I still go back to the football thing. Mm. When you are two teams playing, mm -hmm. you can't allow your strikers to play within your defense. Of course. The strikers of your team will go into the defense of the other ones if you are to win. Mm -hmm. There is no danger. In doing if so. If we penetrate the opposition camps uh, how you and you convince them to join us. And let me tell you. Convincing them with money? Let me tell you. With money. We have done this before. That's how we got the State what Minister for Environment. What have you done before? We have convinced them. Oh, okay. As a strategy. <laughs> the Honorable <laughs> Naturalers, the Honorable Petit Kamiyas, the Honorable who. We have got these people. Mm. And even up to now, mm. among the many people you see moving close to Honorable Chagula, mm. they are the closest 100 allies he thinks we could be having 55 of them are you for real I, I'm telling a you popular this. party why do you get so close no, to the but other they are ours they are so ours. You, you 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 agree that you've planted some so people in the other parties not even planting them there are people who are there but they are saying we are for you i gave you an example one time when i came here and i what said is? if you think there are people like the councils mm. in the kawemp division in Urubaga, mm. uh, because central is nrm oh, yes. but in nakawa Dominated by opposition, how do we win in broad daylight? How do we win the speakership? 
in those areas. There are people, just as he told you, that there is somebody who is in UP, but is this, these things happen. <laughs> and, and, you for are very us, of that. and for us, we shall continue penetrating their defense to score our goals. Because we go so you're with penetrating the, with money and material gains? That's require money. <laughs> we go with the facts. I have told you, if you find a serious member of parliament who is now a candidate, mm. and you tell him, but we are going to the finals with 13 MPs unopposed, mm. that's already an indication that NRM is going to win. We have 79 constituencies where there is no position. On unleveled grounds. That's what we are going to win. Mm. So somebody would say, but why am I wasting my time? <sighs> yeah. So we, there are many others. We don't want them to come out to clear and say they are ours. But there are many there. Okay. Is yes, the Mr. Murindo proud of the manner in which he he says the, 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 the unopposed members of NRM are being secured? But you have continued taking For example, I give an example mm. of the defection of uh, the contender with the Honorable Kasaja. Mm. Honorable Kasaja, the Minister of Finance, recently admitted that because I am so busy doing state matters, I mm. found it necessary to persuade my colleague, co colleague mm. to join, to get some employment elsewhere so that he, he can avoid contesting. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? But, uh, you In know, other words, two, two, I would like uh, Mr. Morindo to, to accept mm. My version of the story, when I made reference to seven candidates in Rubaga with, with the state, is submission right now is admission that this is true. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is, uh, uh, I wouldn't mind, whatever it is. But one factor I would put forward again yes. is that, uh, you know, the position in Uganda mm. is not strong enough, okay? Mm. to challenge <coughs> NRM. Mr. Because mm. when you look at them, the way he's saying, mm. when you look at them, a good number of them are our allies. In the opposition. But in the broad daylight, they will say, you know, 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 but that's how we win. I gave you an example of this when we are having election of speakers in the division. So the campaign. NRM is how proud did of we win? Did you hear anybody party? petitioning that NRM was rigged? Did you hear anybody? But they are dominated by opposition. Ivan Kamana Walunyolo in Inter... Thank you so much, Stephen Mbite. That was a great submission from the Lord Mayor of Kampala Metropolitan. Kampala City, that is uh, Elias Rukwagu. Coming back to the studios, gentlemen, you have had uh, the submissions oh. from Entebbe to Wakaliga and back here in studio. Mm. As we're wrapping up, what are your final comments? I'll start with you, Mr. Malindra. Yeah, uh, my brother Ivan from Entebbe, mm. when you bring Kenny Simba, that you can't claim it's a representation of the people of Entebbe, that mm. they are against the position of the Electoral Commission. Mm. And uh, especially when you... say the others should have been there, but maybe No, time. I mm. know, I know. That was a lie. <laughs> Come uh, on. That was a lie. People always stand no, down. No, 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 no. That's a lie. Next time you get mm. NRM or Sandu here, one opposition on NRM, there we are seated here. Okay. It's more professional. Okay. But to the Lord Mayor, mm. you see, at a personal level, mm. I like it, Lukwag, at a personal level. Mm. Uh, because I, I have a feeling that uh, the Lord Mayor will one time get into NRM. Why do you when think you so? When you look from where we've come, I think 2011, DP. Mm. 2016 independent, independent. now 20, FDC 2021 20, is FDC. Mm. You can see how close I is. Why are you saying <laughs> that? Why are you saying that? But now, that's not the issue. <laughs> that's not the issue. But when he says the electoral commission, by grounding him, mm. the electoral commission is playing in favor of the, uh, of the, the NRM. NRM. That's wrong. Actually, I would say the electoral commission is playing in his favor as an incumbent. Because for him as an incumbent, he has where to begin from. Mm. But for Agadi, who has not been in the office, mm. is the one on the biggest disadvantage. So this electoral commission, Lord Mayor, is in your favor. Mm. By stopping us to campaign in Kampala, for you already have your people. Mr. Malindo, so, your last word to the people as yeah, are going for elections, um, especially peaceful elections. Yes, what be uh, we are for peace. Mm. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, the national chairperson of NRM and president of this country, is a leading advocate of peace in this country. Mm -hmm. For everything you do between now and after the polls, please make sure human life is key mm. and make sure you keep peace. Okay. But vote NRM. Don't bring <laughs> in confusion with other parties. Again. <laughs> Come Don't on. Vote NRM. Do, Where uh, there is a bus, when I can Luchams, where you tick. John Ken Luchams. What are you talking? Uh, the John, man. <laughs> John Ken Luchams. My vote for the presidency will go to Honorable Chagulai. Okay. I would like to thank you mm. for inviting me mm. this morning. 
but more so to thank the Lord Mayor mm. for easy endeavor to protect the, the voters mm. in Uganda. Mm. Your case, although it is not yet decided, I was in court. Mm. You have many opportunities of winning because one of the richest areas of our constitution is mm. the human rights mm. chapter. True. And you articulated the matters so vehemently, mm. so strongly, so elaboratedly mm. that the judge would be persuaded to, to, make, to give you way mm. for a win. Mm. But uh, I would like to say that he, what the lady mayor was alluding to is mm. correct. We are forced into an election, mm. Andrew. Yeah. By definition, practically, this is not an election because it misses the salient points that must be recognized in mm. any common election. Mm. For the good of uh, securing peace mm. and the tranquility mm. in this part of Africa, mm. we are going in for an election. Either so that now an election? Regardless no, we, are, we are going <laughs> for a sham election. Mm. But what we can still make wonders out of uh, determination mm. if people are determined. Okay. I would like to end by uh, appealing to the people of Lubaga South mm -hmm. that a person <coughs> who has uh, performed so elaboratedly like John Kendrick Kams deserves a vote. Mm. At one time I was declared the best performing MP in, the country. in parliament. Mm. So I like your vote. My signal, my symbol is uh, victory. Okay. And uh, for the mayorship I would like my supporters, mm -hmm. to all of them, to vote for Elias Rukwab. Thank you so much. That is a John Ken Luchamzi, the man, and that brings us to the end of this conversation today. But you and I need to be reminded that seven days to elections, it's your job to protect your vote. Make sure you get your location slip, and while you have that, have your national ID. And on the election day, please go with your mask on your face. Not only that, wear it correctly at your soft spots, not under your chin, not above your head but right at your soft spots and sanitize. If you can't sanitize, wash your hands with clean running water and soap. This is for your own benefit and it's for my own benefit.